Hey, what's up guys? It's Franchise923, and in this video, I just want to talk about how we can use Python to get the latitude and longitude from an IP address. So I actually had to do this in one of my projects, and I thought it was pretty cool um, how we could use this API to do that. Um, so what I'm doing is there's this ip-api.com website, and this is basically um, an API that you can use. It's free, and you can just query um, IP addresses against it, and it returns all this data. Um, so you can see here we're just doing it in the browser, but we're actually going to want to do this programmatically with Python. So if we look at their documentation here, this is what we're going to want to start out with, the geolocation API. Just click on JSON, and this is an example of the request that we're going to have to make in Python. So if we just copy this, you can see it, it's as, as simple as literally just passing this IP address. So if we go to Python, um, we're going to need to make an HTTP request in Python. So to do that, we need to import the requests library. Um, so this isn't default. It doesn't come with um, Python. So we need to install it with pip or conda, but it's super popular. So I um, shouldn't have any trouble installing that. Um, and the next thing we're going to have to do is make a variable called response or whatever you want to call it. And set it equal to request.get and then in parentheses just paste in that URL. Um, and we can leave this IP here. Um, that's that's fine. It's just an, a, a sample. So let's just try printing response. So if we run this, you see we get response 200. So this is basically just a, a status code for the response. And 200 actually means successful. You've probably seen 404 before or 505 or 504. Those are uh, bad responses, but this is good. Um, but still, we're actually interested in the content. So if we, if you put uh, content, like response.content, um, you'll see we get uh, data back. But we have this B in front of it, which means it's a byte string. Um, you can see it, it looks like a dictionary, like a Python dictionary, but there's this B in front of it. So we want to work with this not as a byte string, but as um, a dictionary. So to do that, we have to type dot JSON after it. And now if we get rid of content, this is basically how requests um, handles JSON responses. So if you click it now, now you see we have a nice clean Python dictionary um, that we can work with pretty easily. So we should just be able to say print um, response and I didn't even show you guys the response here but we have latitude and longitude so that's what we're interested in so since this is a dictionary and we have uh, keys and values we should just be able to say print lat lat and then we can say same thing but print lawn so uh, there you go. So there is the latitude and the longitude of that IP address. Um, so sweet. That's awesome. Um, but one other thing to be concerned about is let's say you wanted to make um, requests more than just one IP address. So we could, if we had 10 IP addresses, we could just do this 10 times and swap out the IP addresses. But the problem with that is this API has a limit on how many requests you can make per minute or per hour or per day or something like that, I forget, but um, that's not good. They actually have a another API that we can use called the batch API. So this is how you query multiple IP addresses in one HTTP request. So that's useful. So let's um, try to see how we can get this working. Um, so here's an example. So the first thing, actually, let's slow down and read some of this documentation here. So it says only post requests are accepted. So we were using get before, but we're going to need to use post for this, which is fine. And the array request needs to be formatted as a JSON array containing up to 100 IP addresses. All right. So here, let's try to get this working. So actually to make this as simple as possible, we can get rid of all of this additional info. And that is as simple as it can get. So you see it's an array of JSON objects. So if I test this, you see we get one, one back. So let's actually add a few more. So put a comma 
and just paste that in. So we're going to get this working in the browser first and then bring it into Python. So I have a couple IP addresses over here. All right, let's just do one more. So now let's try this and we're making one request, but we're getting four, four um, response. Well, not four responses, but we're getting data for four different IP addresses. So uh, that's cool. So let me copy that. Um, Let's comment all this out and say um, single IP request and then call this batch IP request. Same thing, just response equals request dot. And this time we say post and I need to grab that. URL so this one put this in quotes and since it's a post request we need to actually post some data we have to give it some data so we're gonna give it data in the form of JSON and then we're just going to paste in our data like this and this formats important so it has to be an array of objects like that so there you go, that looks good. Let's try, let's try printing the response now. Okay, response, oh, we, we got to tack on the dot JSON here. Dot JSON. And there you go. So you can see it now is a list of objects. So whereas before we were just getting a dictionary, um, now it's actually a list of dictionaries. Uh, one for each IP address. So since it's a list, we should be able to loop through it. So th for IP info, and this can be called whatever you want, for IP info in response, let's just print IP info. Okay, so there we have the dictionaries being printed out. And instead of printing everything out, let's just print the, the lat long. So print lat. And then print IP info. Okay, so let's try that. Cool. Um, why don't we actually print this on the same line? Cool. So there we go. Uh, there you go. So that's how you can get latitude and longitude. Um, yeah, hope that was helpful. I mean, actually, I guess the only other thing that might be worth pointing out is if we wanted to actually, uh, just another way to kind of display the data. So if you wanted to loop through the actual, the dictionary, so we could, for each um, dictionary, we could loop through it. So for key value in IP info dot items. So this is how you loop through a dictionary. So since we're looping through all four dictionaries, um, that's just why that's why there's two for loops here. Since since we have four, since we have a list of four dictionaries, we need to loop through all four, and then once we're looping through it, we need to loop through the actual dictionary. Um, so we can print key value like that, and let's also just print. A blank line here. Oh no. Like that. All right, so here we have our four status success. Let me make this a little easier to read. So here's the first one and all the data that it, came, that it got back. Here's the second one with all the data. Third and fourth. And in the request, um, we made it really simple. We just said query and the IP address, but you could limit it to only certain fields. 
like say we actually only wanted lat and long, we could specify that um, by doing something like this. So instead of just saying query IP address, we could say fields and the response and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's just what I wanted to show you. Um, I know it's not super useful right now, but um, for example, we could take this latitude longitude data and um, make like a KMZ out of it, um, which is like Google Earth's file format for displaying stuff. Um, we could use like a GIS software to, to visualize this data. Um, but yeah, all kinds of cool stuff you can do. Um, yeah, if you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.